Guys, welcome back. I am at Abraham Lake. It's Alberta's uh, largest reservoir and it has lake trout, rainbow trout, cutthroat trout, and mountain whitefish. So I'm gonna be targeting, targeting the lake trout. Um, early July, the lake is still super low right now. I got here four days ago with my bigger boat and I wasn't able to launch it because it's way too shallow far out here. I'm gonna try and get out for the evening bite here. It's 8.30 p.m. and I'll get about an hour of fishing in. So I'm gonna get at it here and uh, get this boat in the water. Tomorrow morning, get up, get up nice and early, and uh, let's try and catch a fish tomorrow. Well, guys, good morning. It's 5:30. I just made my coffee. There's a little bit of wind this morning, but it's blowing outwards, so it, there's no waves here. Bull trout. Ugh. Okay, I didn't get skunked. Just a little bull trout on a little spoon, five feet of water, just trolling to uh, trolling to my other spot I want to get to before the wind picks up. Didn't even thought, didn't even think I had a fish on there.
So I'm just trying to get down to the fish. I'm marking them down at, I'm in 30 feet of water. I'm marking them in about 20 to 25 feet. 30 feet. That was a big mark. Unless there was two fish or three fish together. I got one fish already. That's all I wanted. So I'm going to this big fin, big flat fish, white fish spoon, and I'm going to go for a big fish because even, even a five pound Laker should eat that. on bottom. Maybe I just drift sock all day. Here's one. Feels a bit better here. a small one. I'm not even going to net him. I'll swing him in. All right. On the tube. This might be fun. Got lots of hits there. Nice colors on this fish. I'm going. Awesome. Just a white tube jig. It's actually a bigger profile for the smaller fish. Maybe it's a four four inch bait. First drift on this and I've landed one, hooked another one, marking fish down there already. This would be fun if I can get fish on this tube all day and hope for a big one. So I got a drift sock out here, just behind my boat, it slows me down. I'm doing 0.4 to 0.5 mile an hour, which is a perfect drifting speed for tubes. Covering ground really slowly and your hook's able to get down to the bottom when it's 30 feet deep. Marking a fish seven feet off bottom and lift up to him. See if I get his attention. Oh, he bit. I got him. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Another small laker. I marked that feet fish seven feet off bottom. And I just lifted up to it, thinking, hey, you never know, and he literally just grabbed it right away. A little bit bigger, not much bigger. Nice yellow fins, I can't, boy, and I can't wait if I can catch a big one. That would be sweet, the fins on it. Hey. Okay guys, wind died down and I am drifting this, uh, oh nice fish here. What is this? Another laker? I'm using a bigger profile tube here. Still catching small ones, but uh, looking for a big fish. 
super cool looking lakers out of this lake though. They're like almost albino looking. That guy was in uh, 37 feet of water. Just hooked another. Same, uh, just like five minutes I've been fishing. Just a little one again. Crazy they go for this stuff. This is... Uh, this guy. That's number six. Just hitting the tube that's half their size. Mark two there in one bit. Well, you guys, it is seven o'clock. I have probably caught 10 Lakers and that one small little bull. Beautiful lake, lots of small fish, but there are big fish in here. Awesome learning experience in the summer here. Um, don't advise coming here if there's any wind. So thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.